Power drills, chop saws, and routers are normally considered men's tools, but today some teenage girls put aside their cell phones and iPods to learn about the construction trade. <laughs> Hundreds of eighth grade girls from around the state are learning about careers in construction. I did my name and then I tried to do a couple smiley faces and they didn't go very well, but that's okay. Katie Bazell just tried her hand at welding and it seems to have sparked an interest. I think it would be fun. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I haven't done everything, so it would be nice. Female apprentices and journey workers are leading Spokane Public Schools' fifth annual Pizza Pop and Power Tools Showcase with hands-on experience in welding, conduit bending, brick laying, and heavy equipment operation, yeah. to name a few. Career opportunities on the rise. Are you ready? The Bureau of Labor Statistics forecasts the addition of 1 million construction jobs by 2012, jobs that pay between $10 and $20 an hour to start. On the surface, it might be a tough sell to get girls interested in the construction industry, especially when it involves getting their hands dirty, but not for Rachel Schroeder. I kind of want to do like a backhoe kind of stuff. It's, it sounds fun and like I did really well at it. The guy said I did well, so I um, I did well, so that's a good thing about it. The construction industry really wasn't on the radar for Tia Rodriguez until now. My mom and dad do construction, and I always thought it was boring, but I see it's really cool now. Most of them can, will come here and they're kind of timid and stand back a little bit, not knowing what to expect. By lunchtime, as you can see, the smiles on their faces, and oh my gosh, it's so cool. I got to weld my name in this piece of, of iron, so it's pretty neat. Speaking of lunch, they'll go through more than 160 pizzas over the next two days.